Hi everyone, I want to give you a really quick tutorial on how to use dynamic pages in Wix. At least this is one use for dynamic pages. And here I'm going to show you how to create a list. And then when you click on an item in the list, it will open up details. You can imagine a million applications of this. You might have a list of contacts. When you click on a contact's name, a page opens and you can see their address and phone number and stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to CMS, Content Management System. You might have to add this to your site. So we go here and you're going to want to look at collections and we're going to create a new collection. We're just going to start from scratch. We're going to call it My Contacts. And here I'm going to choose multiple items. As I said, there are multiple uses for dynamic pages. We're going to use kind of the original one, which is just to create a list. And here is a table. It's very much like a spreadsheet. We have a title here. We can edit that. It's text and we can change it to name. And I'll save that. We can add a field. I'm going to add a text field and I'm going to call it phone number. On and on. You can add as many fields as you want. You saw that there are different types of data. You can even add a picture or a URL. But now we've got a table called My Contacts. And if I go to More Actions, it says Add Dynamic Page. And here we have the pattern I was talking about. Here's a list. So we want that. We also want one that will show each item. So we'll click that and then click Add to Site. It will think a little bit. And what do you know? Here we have a list of items. And I can change the title, uh, My Contacts. And what it's done is if I click on this text here, and then I can see that it's connected it has essentially created a reference to that collection we created, and it has tied this to the phone number field. So it's a little tricky. This is what's called a repeater. If I add anything to this container, it will show up for all of them. I'm not going to do that. This isn't really a tutorial on how repeaters work, but you can look that up. I think one thing I'm going to do to make this a little more interesting is I will go back to the collection I created and I will add some data to it. So I'll add my name and a phone number. I'll add my dog's name and her phone number. So now we have a little bit of data in there. We can close this. And if we go back to our list, you can see, bing, now it's got uh, the data that I put in the table in there. If I click this Read More button, I'll see that it is connected to an item, to a dynamic form. So if I go to Pages and Menu here, Dynamic Pages, and I go to my contacts, I can also look at the item form. So the list form has the list, the item form has the item, and I can move things around. If there were other fields, I could map them, and maybe we can do that uh, really quickly. I'm going to go back to our collection. I'm going to add a field called no, I don't want to add an item. I want to add a field. I'm just going to make it a text field. And I'm going to call it state. And it shows up over here. I can move it here if I prefer. Uh, Mandy is from Texas. I am from, let's say, Oklahoma. I accidentally created that item, so I'm going to select it here and delete it. I'm going to go back to 
the item form. Remember, this shows the details for an item. I am going to add now a text element. I'm just going to take this one. It's a paragraph. And watch what I'm going to do. I'm again going to go to its connections. You can see it's connected to the My Contacts item. That's a data set. It refers to that collection we created, and I'm just going to tie this to state. And when I do that, sooner or later, it should refresh and actually show the state instead of, um, you know, just blank text. So I've got a collection that's got data in it. I can have Wix automatically create a list form and a detail form, and then I can map those. I'm going to go back to Pages and Menu. I'm going to look for my contacts, the list. And the state isn't showing up. So again, I'm going to go here. Let's try this. It didn't work that great last time. I'm not sure what happened. But I'm going to tie it and I'm going to say this is connected to state. And I can come up here and preview and let's see what I see. There we go. It just wasn't updating. So now I can format these items in the list. I've only got two things in there now. And if I click on read more, it's going to open the details. One more thing I'm going to show you that I think is important. I'm going to go back to the editor. And these dynamic forms are connected in an interesting way. Uh, if I go to my contacts, here's the list, here's the item. If I look at the item and I go into settings, notice here that there's a variable here called name. The way we're going to get to this page is to go to the list, which is my contacts, and then this page will be identified by its name. If I look at the list, look at its uh, basics, you can see this is my context. This is like the part of the URL that will get me to this list. And the way I get to an individual item is to use this and just to add the name to it. Not the most intuitive thing in the world if you're not technical. If you create the pages together, you will never have to mess with this. The implication might be if I decide to change this here, like if I change this to my contacts X, I need to come here and update the same thing. So now this is my contacts X, or it will be broken. It won't work. It won't know how to go from the list to the details. So then you can just publish and I hope this was helpful to you.